coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Boom. Appreciate the support. We out here, 33 years of prison stories, man. Back at y'all again. We rolling, man. Appreciate all the love for everybody who went over there on Banky Pound, Prison Fitness, everybody who's going over there on Living Life After Life podcast with Troy Catchmore. We almost had a thousand subscribers on both of them, so I appreciate the love, but let's get there, let's get there. Come on, let's roll, let's roll. We in there, man. We, we trying to spread this positive energy, this positive message. We trying to spread the uh, health is your wealth message, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, making sure that you, you, you know, you're right and you can have longevity in life, and um, that's what it's all about. Um... <clears throat> Back by popular demand, man. I was thinking about my brother, man, Mark Peace, man. Shout out to Mark Peace. Still in the belly of the beast. Still fighting for his liberation. Uh, over 35 years served. And, um, you know, good brother, man. Really good brother. Really, really good brother. But a really, really dangerous brother, man. He's not to be played with, toyed with, trifled with. Cause you uh you will you will um <laughs> you will get hurt man you will get hurt mess with Mark Peace if you're lucky you know if you're lucky but uh good brother man and I can remember you know all the times that me and Mark had on um Mecklenburg which I've told y'all about in the Mark Peace stories if y'all haven't watched the Mark Peace stories y'all go back and check them out um. And the, the conversations we had, man, me and Mark was always cool. Mark is an intellectual too, man. He, he really, really intelligent, man. He speaks, uh, you know, real proper too, real low, real calm. But he, you know, he, 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 he tried to duck the cuss words. He say stuff like ham pots and all of that stuff too. But uh, he, a, he, a, he a smart dude, man. And um. But like I said, you know, when you when you when you on this bad side, man, you. You really in the danger zone, man. Cause once he he go over that edge, it's hard to really bring him back. And um, he don't compromise that much, you know. He don't, you know, uh, debate and all of that type of stuff like that. Once he get in it, he in it, you know. <clears throat> and I can remember when I ran back into him on uh, Greensville, man. It was in the two thousands, I think, somewhere around two thousand six, two thousand seven, or eight, somewhere up in that area. I know it was right around that time. I ran back into him in Greensville, man. He had a, a overall different look and everything, cause Mark was always a heavy set dude, you know. He like he like eating. He ate well, and you know he he didn't really do a lot of working out back then. But he had he had them hands though. He hit that bag and boom boom make that bag sing. You know he he got some some good lethal punches, man. And especially for his size, when you see him, you know, he, he was always chunky. But, you know, like I say, he can rumble. He most definitely going to push that Bethlehem. And um, he got heart big as Texas, man. So when I ran back into him in, um, in the 2000s, he told me he was coming out the mountains, man, for over a decade. You know what I'm saying? He had been up there in the mountains for over a decade because, you know, that's how he lived. You know, he lived that gangster life. You know, you mess with him, it's going to be a price to pay. And he ain't got no problem with uh, paying it, you know. So uh, he he ended up in the mountains for a long time. So he was just coming back down, man. And um, he had seemingly to me, man, you know, had found some peace with himself. You know, no pun intended, mock peace, found peace, you know. And um, he, uh, he had lost a lot of weight, man. He had lost a lot of weight. He was trim, man. Mark was trim. Mark ain't had no stomach or nothing. He was out there jogging every day and, you know, running three miles every day, every morning, man. And that's why I ran into him at out there jogging and everything. So, you know, we stopped and chopped it up. And, you know, he was telling me about his his uh, travels and everything since I had last seen him. I was telling him about mine. And it was crazy, man. We was just sitting there reminiscing and we was cool, man. And, you know, to see somebody, you know, who you, you know, basically started this bit off with, you know, and, um talk about his journey and my journey, you know, and um, 
Because over the years when you're doing time and you get separated from dudes that you was around for a long time, you know, you will hear about them from other inmates coming from other compounds or whatnot and vice versa. So, you know, that be the only real communication that y'all have. Um, it be hard to stay communicated with people when they get separated from you because you can't write letters from prison to prison. You would have to go all the way around, you know, the, the corner. You got to write a letter home, um, tell your people to uh, reroute it and um, put a whole nother stamp and envelope on it and send it to this place. And then that person got to get it and they got to do the same thing. And, you know, the administration is, uh, they known for uh, reading your mail and stuff too. So they may read the mail and, and deem its content from another inmate and um, they may not even give it to you, you know, they may confiscate it or they may, you know, block all mail coming from that address uh, in the future. So it's, it's, it's really hard, man, to try to stay in contact with your uh, brothers and everything when you get separated in prison. Um, but with that being said, man, me running into him again, man, it, it, it was cool to see him. It was cool to chop it up with him and everything. You know, then I started running into him in the visiting room, man. He was... So happy, man, to be down on lowland, flatland is what we call it. And, um, you know, from being up there in the mountains, uh, he was happy to be on flatland, man. His, his son, he had a son. His son was actually coming to see him. You know, I seen him in the visit room with his son. He introduced me to his son. You know what I'm saying? I introduced him to my people, man. It, it was cool, you know. You know, we go out on the yard every now and then. We chop it up together, you know. Because, you know, when you're an old-timer like that, man, and you done been through all the things that he done been through, the things I have been through, you know, a lot of people that's in prison at this time, man, they was newer dudes, they was younger dudes, and they, they couldn't really relate. They didn't really understand, you know, the, um, the way the penitentiary was now versus the way it was when we came in. You know, when we came in, it was a whole, it was a whole different level, man, a whole different ball game. So... By the 2000s, you know, a lot of dudes that have been doing time with me and Mark, they, they, you know, was fading out of the prison. They was getting out, you know what I'm saying? Me and him definitely wanted to get out, but it just wasn't our time yet, you know, and it still ain't been Mark time yet. But that's what, uh, you know, me and a whole lot of other people as well as him is praying for. But it ain't been his time yet. And, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to get out myself in, in, in you know, what, 2020. So, you know, he's still going through that, that same... Uh, that same battle, man, that same fight, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I like being around dudes like that that I was around before that's solid that I know and I can understand. They can understand me. You know, we on the same type of uh, same type of time, uh, so to speak. But, um, yeah, I can remember Mark, though, man. He was coming out there. Like I say, I would see him a couple of times a week, and we'd talk, see him in the visit room periodically. And, um, man, I can remember he sent for me. And uh, told somebody to tell me come outside. He had to holler at me with something serious. So I was like, oh, Lord, man, what could this possibly be? You know, so I go outside and everything, man. I see Mark, man. He said, come on, man, let's take a lap, man. So, you know, we go take a lap, man. We talking and everything. And Mark say, uh, hey, yo, um, you know that I wouldn't even ask you this, man, you know, but... I know that you somebody that I can ask. So uh, with that being said, man, I think I, I I need one of them things, man. You got one of them things, I know you got one. So I look at him, I'm like, what you talking about? He said, you know what I'm talking about. You know, he talking about one of them Bethlehems, right? So I say, uh, I mean, what's up? He was like, man, <laughs> he got this funny, wicked laugh, man. I don't even know if I can do it, but he got like a high man that just comes out of nowhere we be like <laughs> one of them old joints like that right but he be he be serious but that's how he talk but when something strike him he <laughs> you know one of them joints like that so he was like uh yeah man uh got these little young young cats in the block man they they uh they playing games man they playing games with me I said, what, what kind of games? My, he said, man, it's just some foolishness. But, you know, I'm going to handle it. You know, I'm going to handle it. 
I said, oh, Mark, I mean, you know, you just got on low land, man. You been up there in the mountains all them years. He told me, <laughs> there's you. There's you, man. I know you're going to try to find reason. You're going to try to save them. But some people can't be saved, man. Some people can't be saved. I said, what they do? You know what I'm saying? What they do to you? He said, no, it's, it's just some foolishness. But I'm, I'm going to straighten them out. I'm going to straighten them out. I say. <laughs> And I know where it's going because I know Mark. So I'm like, Mark, man, come on, man. Come on, dog. You know, we we on different type of time right now, man. We trying to get out this penitentiary. He said, don't I know it? Don't I know it? He said, but these young cats don't know it, man. They so disrespectful, man. They so disrespectful, man. I say, Mark, they don't even know what they be doing, yo. They, they just coming in the penitentiary. They don't know what they be doing and they don't know who they be messing with. He said, yeah, I know, I know. That's why I got to educate them. I got to educate them. You know, I'm going to teach them, you know. I'm going to teach them what their mama them ain't teaching. Their daddy them ain't teaching. They should have stayed their hand pots on the street. Coming up in the penitentiary trying to run something, man. Come on, man. You know that don't make no sense. <laughs> you know that don't make no little, little y'all do, man. I got kids older than them, man. I got kids. I've been in the penitentiary while they were still floating around in their daddy's sack, man. And they come in here acting like they running something. You know I ain't having that. I ain't having it, man. I'm not having it. I say, you still ain't tell me what they do, ma. What they do to you. He said, man, it's all over some microwave stuff. They trying to... You know, bully this. They just want to run their phones. They think they running. Man, you, man, you not going to tell me what they do, when they do with it. And then one of them had it. That's the time. So, man, set your old ass down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you know what he told me. I said, yeah, I told him. I said, yeah, I'm old. I'm old, but I don't sit down until I want to sit down. You know, he says, so I see them over there, they all huddling up, getting all together. So I don't know if they brave enough to try to pull a move or whatever, right? But you know me, I be prepared. You know, I'm be prepared. I just want to be prepared. That's why I want one of them things. I said to myself, I won't picking them up no more. I won't picking them things up no more, man. Because every time I pick them up, man, I get myself late, you know, but, uh, I think I just need to have it just in case it get out of hand. He said, but you know, I can rumble. You know, I wreck. I wreck all day. I line them up. I take them in the cell and wreck all of them one at a time and show them who they playing with. But they ain't going to do that because they ain't got no heart. They ain't got no heart, so they going to try some coward BS and probably try to run down on me and think they got something sweet, and I'm going to light them up. I'm going to light them up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm going to do it, man. <laughs> you know, I said, I know you're going to do it. I know it. Ain't no doubt in my mind, Mark. I said, but they don't know it. They don't know, man. He said, they going to know. I said, no, look, man, who is it, man? I probably know him. Let me holler at him, man, and just, you know what I'm saying, let them know who they talking to, man, who they messing with, man. Just go ahead and chill out, man. Boom, boom, boom. He like. He's shaking his head while I'm saying what I'm saying. He like, no, 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 you can't save them. No, they no, they need to learn. If I don't teach them, somebody else going to teach them. I said, Mark, man, these dudes is little kids, man. He said, they in the penitentiary, though. They trying to run stuff, though. They want to be bosses. They don't. They want to learn what the penitentiary like. I'm the right teacher for them. They want to make they play. I'm going to feed them. I'm going to feed them till they choke. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to feed them till they choke. Just set my old head, man. Come on, man. You know I don't let people talk to me like that. I already got to swallow these polices, you know, the way they talk, the way they running around here bossing and hollering and yelling. You know, I ain't used to that, man. I ain't even used to that. You know, I, I, I'm going to humble myself to them because they got the power. And I ain't going to let them go too far. But I humble myself. I can't do all that humbling, man. Humbling myself here, humbling myself there. Next thing you know, I'm a coward. I'm a coward now, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Have that look. Mark piece of cow. He said, no, no, they, I can't do that, man. I said, Mark, man. He said, man, bang it, man. You gonna give me that joint or what? You know I wouldn't ask nobody. I couldn't trust. These dudes, you can't even trust these dudes doing time today. Can't even trust them. You go ask them for a joint or something, they go back and tell the people you trying to get a joint from. But I know you, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 you know, we family. And I know you got one of them things up there because you've been here long to me. I know you got one. I say, Ma, it, you know, I say, man, I got one, but I got the joint put up. I don't even want to touch it, man. I don't, I don't try to grab it, and I hope I never had to go get it, but I got to have it. He said, that's what I'm telling you. I got to, I got to give me one, man. If you, if you can't let me borrow yours, man, get me one. Yeah, just, just get me one. I pay for it. You know what I pay for? I got the money. I pay for who? I gotta pay. Who I gotta pay? Who make them? Who got them? I say, Mark, man, look what I'ma do. If you really, really need it, you know I got it. I'm gonna give it to you. I say, but I don't, I don't wanna go get it and give it to you, man. And then. Something crazy happened, man. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel messed up, man. I don't, cause I know what you'll do to them dudes, man. I know, and then I don't even know who they is, man. They just youngest, man. You know, they don't know who they playing with, man. Just let me holler at them or get some other young dudes to holler at me. He was like, no, 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 no. Um, if you gonna give it to me or let me buy one, then I appreciate it, you know. But if you don't, you know I'ma get one anyway. You know, I'ma get I got the I got to get me one just to be sure. You know, just I don't wanna use it. And they may not really have no heart like that, like they gonna run down on me. But you know what type of game we in, man. You got to be ready, man. You never know. I just wanna be ready in case they run down. I want to be able to run them up out there like roaches. You know, chase them down and you know, and just get you know, let them know. Don't never, you know, think cause a, a, a cat old or something, and he in the penitentiary. How you think he got old? How they think we got old in the penitentiary, man? <laughs> How they what they what they think we did? We just came in and just boom, we old. No, man, you know what we been through. You know what kind of cloth we cut from. I ain't going to have it, man. I'm not, I'm just not going to have it. Yeah, I'm just not going to have it, man. You know, I'd be a coward. I ain't turning into, all this stuff I done did all these years I put in, I'm a coward. I said, Mark, you know, good and well, your reputation, man, people know who you are. Ain't nobody going to look at you like no coward, man. He said, I know. But I'm looking at me like I'm going to start looking in the mirror and say I'm a cow. I keep letting the police talk to me greasy. Then you got the dudes talking to me greasy. And then next thing you know, I'm looking at myself like I, I, I must be a cow. You know, I'm, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to feel like that. I said, man, come on, Ma. You, 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 you taking this to the next level, bro. He said, no, they taking it to the next level. I said, look, do me a favor. Just do me, yeah, just do me one favor. <clears throat> That's all I ask you. I said, I'm going to get you the joint. I said, but give me three days. He said, three days? I said, yeah, just give me three days. I said, because where I got to hear that, I don't want to go get it right now because of certain circumstances. I got in a good, secure place. It's been there for a long time. I got to go, you know, through somebody else to get it. I don't want to answer all the questions what they think. I got some beef or this, that, and the third. They be trying to, you know, talk to me. I said, I'm going to get it, though, man. Three days. Three days, man. All you got to do is just, you know, stay away from the cats, man. You know how the game goes. Just mind your business, man. He said, three days. He said, all right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because I trust you and you my brother. He said, but you put your word on that. You gonna give me that? I said, yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna give it to you. He said, all right, all right. He said, I don't think they gonna really, you know, run down on me. You know, I think they got the BLA hard up. You know, cause I can look at all of them. They, they cowards. You know, they move in packs and groups and all. You know, we don't even move like that. So you already know they cowards. 
He said, but yeah, but uh, they ain't gonna do nothing but uh, antagonize me enough where as to uh, if they do something, I'm, I'm gonna cut their heart out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut their heart out one by one. I'm gonna cut their heart right on out, carve it straight out their chest. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for them. I was just looking at them like, man. Man, these cats don't even know what they're getting themselves into, man. I was like, man, yeah, don't even think about it like that, Mark. Man, we gonna, it's going to work itself out, man. We just going we gonna to pray on it or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I got you, though, man. But just be calm, man, and don't, you know what I'm saying, don't let them get to you, bro. He said, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, okay. Let, let's go ahead and get some black. You going to get some black this morning? You going to jog with me this morning? I said, yeah, come on, man. So we jog some laps and everything. But in my mind, I had already said to myself, man, I, I was going to try to, you know, find out who it was, you know, um, <laughs> try to give him some type of, some, you know, some advice, man. But it'd be hard, man. It'd be hard talking to them young cats, man. They don't listen. They think they tough. They think they, they, they you know, and then you could go talk to them and then they could not receive what you're trying to get to them a good fair warning to save your life and then they be like boom and get you know egotistical like yeah they trying to come talk to me because they don't want me to I, man i tear old head up and woo nah bro i'm trying to save your life you know so they could turn around and do that and then if we get back to mark then mark gonna feel like you know i betrayed him you know it's just a tricky situation man it's just it's so tricky, man, you know, when you when you in that penitentiary, man, because words get misconstrued, you know, the message get misconstrued, and then, you know, a whole lot of stuff can happen. So I know all of this, but at the same time, you know, I don't really want uh, Mark to hurt the young dudes, man, because I know they don't know what they're doing, even though they're foolish, they're stupid, and they they putting themselves in harm's way. I still know they're young, and they don't really know, you know, how much harm they putting themselves in. But also, my, my brother, I don't want to see him get late, man. I don't want to see him put himself in the position, you know, he older now, go back up in these mountains dealing with these racist folks up here. And, you know, that's a hard life up there, man. It's hard in the penitentiary period, but it's a harder life up there in, in the mountains, man. I'm, it's, I'm trying to tell y'all, boys, it's, it's like some other stuff, man, you know, so... I know he, how excited he was when I first ran back into him, man, that he was on flatland after all that time. And you know what I'm saying? And um, just like I said, he had lost all that weight because it ain't nothing to do up there. It ain't nothing to do up there but, you know, get your mind right and get your body right. It ain't nothing else to do up there. We can try to hope and pray that you can get up off of there. So um, I wanted to do it, man, and I had to try to figure out how to do it. So I just started asking questions because I knew some people, man, and I was asking somebody down there that I could really trust not to go back running his mouth and like, man, who them people down there, the young dudes down there, man, uh, they was, uh, had something to say to Mark, man, you know, the older dude, man, is down there and say such and such and such. And they were like, oh, 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 yeah, 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 that's the mom, that's the mom, blood dudes, man, they, woo, 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 yeah, yeah, I seen them on with them or whatever, whatever. He said, wow, what's up, you cool over here? I said, yeah, man. I said, let me tell you something, man. Dude, dude, a good dude, man. He's one of my brothers, man. And I'm going to tell you this, man. And I'm not exaggerating and I'm not, you know, cutting no corners. My dude, he would kill every one of them dudes, man. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't talking about figuratively. I'm talking literally. He would kill them, man. So I don't know what's going on down there, man. But do you got any type of rapport with them dudes? You know what I'm saying? Any type of, you know, not nothing that you can say to them. They're going to go back running their mouth or they're going to think somebody trying to save the old dude but not realizing they trying to save them. Do you do you know them cats? He was like, well, I know two of them, right? But I ain't, I ain't really that tight with them. But I know my, my homeboy, he's super tight with them and everything, right? He said, man, um, I said, man, do you trust him? He was like, yeah. I was like, man, you, hey, my dude, you better holler at them and tell them, man, that they better leave dude alone, man. I mean, real talk, they better leave him alone. I'm talking about like yesterday, leave him alone, man. Let him do his thing, man, mind his business, man. I'm telling you, man, if you, you know me, I'm telling you what's real. This dude is a monster, <laughs> you understand me? He's a monster. I've seen it, you know what I'm saying? He was like, for real, I'm like, he a monster, my dude. 
I'm telling you, it, it'd be a crime scene down that joint. He was like, man, word, word. I'm like, yeah, word. You know, so he was like, all right, I'm going to holler at my son, man. Holler at him ASAP, man. Tell him be discreet. Tell him to keep that down on the low, man, or whatever, whatever. And come back, man, and let me know what's up. So he was like, all right, man, I'm going to holler at him. So all that day, man, I'm waiting for him, waiting for him. I can't catch him. I sent back for him and everything. He ain't never come out. So then the next morning, ASAP, I'm looking for him. Trying to holler at him. I couldn't catch him. I couldn't catch him because we in different, different, uh, we in the same building but in different blocks. So, man, I ended up catching him around about, about lunchtime, man. He was like, I was like, man, what's up, man? You holler at the dude, man, or whatever, whatever. He was like, oh, yeah, 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 holler at him, man, yeah. He, he, he gonna holler at him today. He ain't holler at him yet, but he gonna holler at him today. I said, man, <laughs> I said, man, you taking this joke. Man, this ain't nothing to wait about. This is something you need to get on top of ASAP. He said, oh, no, no, I'm going to make sure he do it today. I'm going to make sure he do it today for sure, for sure. OG, I got you, I got you. I said, all right, man. So, boom. Later on, we had the late wreck, man. He came out. He told me, he said, oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, I hollered at him, right, and told him, right. And he was like, man, his cousin, no dude, too, man. No dude, dude, too. You talking about dude, his name Mark, right? I said, he said, yeah, he said, that, yeah. He said, yeah, yeah. He told me, he said, that dude ain't nothing to play with. He said, man, so he went to holler at the dudes, man. He told him, man, you know what I'm saying, leave, leave your head alone, man. That joint, that joint right there, ain't, that ain't where it's at, man. He said, man, dudes was like, man, what? He was, I'm saying, who he said? No, nah, he ain't said nothing. Somebody got in my ear and was telling me that y'all had something. Then old head ain't, he ain't said nothing at all, but leave him alone, man. I'm telling you. Then he started telling people about what they heard about Mark. And he said, man, them dudes was like, oh, all right, there ain't no beef, there ain't no nothing, though, man. But it's like, woo, woo, woo. They trying to hold face, but. Somebody told him some stuff. I don't know what they told him, but it could have been a number of a whole lot of things because Mark, a, his, his, his resume is laid out there. You understand me? Is it laid out there? So whatever they told him, it, it got through to him. You know what I'm saying? So then on this, because the next day, three days, I got supposed to be going out there and take Mark the chump. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I go out there the next morning. I supposed to meet Mark, you know, um, I got the joint, you know what I'm saying, and I, 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 cause I told him I was gonna bring it. So I go out there, man, and go holler at him, man. He was like, boom. We started walking around the yard, taking a lap. That's what dudes, you know, we walk around the yard, chop it up, take laps and stuff, talk, you know. So he was like, um, what's up? I said, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. I said, what's up with you, man? How I been there and everything, all right, man? He was like, <laughs> he said, <laughs> You slick, man. You 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 real slick. I said, what you talking about? He said, <laughs> he said, this me, man. This me, man. I said, what what was up? He said, uh, you got a joint. You bought the joint with you. I said, yeah, I got it. I told you I was gonna bring it. He was like, <laughs> go ahead on, keep it, man. Go ahead. Keep it. I said, what's up? I mean, what you 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 good? He said. <laughs> He said, you really, you really go at like, oh, no, know what's going on. You really go at like, oh. I said, what, Mark, man, come on, man. Tell me what you're talking about. He said, all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> the young boys, they, they got a change of heart. You know, they, uh, uh, one of them came up to me yesterday and told me, you know, ain't no beef, uh, apologize. He being extra nice and all of this all of a sudden. And I'm saying to myself, I, I know they ain't trying to rock me to sleep. I know they don't think I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying, I'm going to let them do something like that. And um, so, yeah, they being extra friendly and everything. He said, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thinker, man, you know. So I went ahead on set. They probably just told me they want no thing. Everything was cool. He said, but when I'm in that cell and I'm sitting back thinking to myself, how did this come about, right? And the first thing come to my mind is, Bangie said, give him three days for he can get me the joint. And then all of a sudden, uh, had these cats come the day before with some nice guy stuff. Yeah, somebody said something to him. Somebody said something to him. And I think it probably was you. <laughs> it was you. I know it was. I said, man, I ain't said nothing to them cats. I don't even know who they are. I don't even know which one it is, man. But it's a good thing, dog. It's, 
<laughs> it's a good thing for them. Yeah, it's a good thing for them. He said, and I, and I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Cause I know you did it. You did it out of love. And I know you did it for me. Because, uh, you know, you ain't want to see me get late. And I respect that. He said, but I but, but I know you did it, though. I know you did. I said, all right, Ma. You, you can believe what you want to believe. He said, yeah, 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 you did. You did. He said, but it's good because I know that just means you got love for me, man. I got love for you, too. He said, because, uh, uh, you know, they should really, 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 really thank you, though. You know, because I was going to light them up. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, man, I was gonna light them up, man. I, I was gonna make, I man, it was gonna be ugly, man. I'm telling you, man, they were gonna send me back up there in them mouth. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm going out with a bang, man. I'm, I, I'm talking about, man, I was, gonna, I was gonna bloody massacre them in there. I said, man, I already know, man. I'm just thankful, man. That, you know, you ain't got to do that, man, you know, because we ain't on that type of time no more, man, like that, man. We ain't, we ain't trying to live that gladiator life, man. We trying to fade our way on out the penitentiary, man. That's what that's what I'm trying to do. I know that's what you trying to do. He was like, hey, hey, yeah, but they ain't trying to let it go nowhere, man. I mean, what they waiting for? <laughs> what they waiting for? And, you know, I, we faded on into another conversation, man, but... It was a good conversation, man. We got away from that, you know, that foolishness, man, that violence, man, because that's always on the table, man, when you're in the penitentiary, man. And um, he was like, man, he said, the man told me before we end up leaving off the yard, right? He said, man, I, man, 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 you know, I love you, man. I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah, man, I love you too, bro, for real, man. We got to get out of this penitentiary, though, man. We got to see the outside, man. We got to see it, man. We did too much time. He was like, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, man, but uh, for sure, man. He said, yeah, but uh, I, I, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow, though, man. But I definitely, I definitely want to tell you, man. I appreciate you and I love you, man. And uh, <laughs> and them boys, <laughs> them boys should love you, too. <laughs> And they mama and daddy too, <laughs> cause they would, they would, they would definitely give me and get a special delivery. <laughs> Your son coming home early. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, man," and he go on about his business, man. That the, the dude, man, is he a kind-hearted dude, man? But he just a no-nonsense dude, and he ain't going for nobody. You know, disrespecting him, nobody trying to hurt him, nobody coming at him with no crazy stuff. He ain't, he just ain't going for it. But if you come at him correct, man, he's solid, man. He gonna try to teach the young dudes, man. He's smart. You know, I've been talking to him, you know, since I've been out. Mark, man, man he done learned how to speak a couple of different languages, man. It's Spanish. He teaching the Spanish class in there. He tutoring and stuff in there. He done completely turned his whole life around, man, compared to when I first met him. You know what I'm saying? And um, but that beast thing, that beast is still in him. You know what I'm saying? And I be I be hoping and praying, don't nobody wake it up in him. But that beast still in him. But he's a good dude and he doing good things, man. And he now he I think Mark might be 61, 62 or something like that. And all his life in the penitentiary, man. He deserves a shot to get out here, man, and live his life, man. And, um, you know, be happy and spend some time with his kids, his family, the people that have been waiting for him for so long, man. And he expressed to me, man, about TBP, man, because some people have reached out to him from TBP, man. I love y'all for that, man, and wrote him and, you know, correspond with him. And he met a couple of people, man. He said how much that means to him, man. He said it means so much to him, man. You know, he's so grateful and thankful for that, man. And, um, I know he mean it. I know he's sincere. So I definitely wanted to tell y'all that, that he appreciate y'all as well as I appreciate y'all. But yeah, man, if y'all can reach out to him too, man, reach out to him, man, because it always helps to get that love in there, man, that support in there, to know somebody out here rocking with you, man. And he said, man, he even had COs that came up to him and told him they done seen the videos and stuff about him. And now they even give him more respect, the ones who didn't know his history, didn't know about him, them young COs and stuff in there, because they watching the videos and stuff. They watching us, TBP. So, man, it, it, it's just a... Uh, beautiful thing man you know and he just said man he expressed man how much he loved me as a brother man and he loved y'all for supporting him and everybody who wrote him and reached out to him man he said he sent his utmost respect and love but man we gonna keep him in prayer man to hope that he can get out here one day soon 
definitely gonna bring him to y'all, man. He's definitely some, a must see TV, you know. But um, yeah, I wanted to share that with y'all, man. You know, just reminiscing, thinking about my brother, man, old Mark, man, still fighting a good fight. Him along with a whole lot of other brothers, man. That um, I'm hoping to get their liberation soon, man, sooner than later. But you know, I just wanted to bring that to y'all, man, cause y'all like the Mark P story, man, and it's a lot, it's a lot to Mark, man, but. Overall, man, he's a good dude, man, but he one of them dudes that's just not to be played with, and that should be understood, man, because dudes being locked up, man, we done went through so much and they had to overcome so much on a daily basis with no breaks, no timeouts or nothing, man. It's just always on. It's always going and going, and, man, it, you know, it's hard to find peace, you know what I'm saying, and that's no pun intended. Mark peace is hard to find peace, you know, so... uh yeah, man, it, 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 you know, it, it's a hard fight, man, and he's still in it, and, you know, I just want him to know he got people that's rocking with him that's still in it for him, man, and rooting for him, man. So, man, uh, y'all hold him down, man, if y'all can, man, reach out to him. Yeah, y'all reach out to him and show him some love, man. Go back and look at the first video. I think I did a part one and part two about him. It should have his information in there somewhere where y'all can reach out to him and write him if y'all so choose to and just uh, support him or whatnot. And I'll keep y'all informed next time he go off for parole so we can write the parole board on his behalf and try to get him some uh, get him some freedom, man, on, on, on you know, why he's still up on top of this ground, my brother, because uh, when you don't put that much time in there, in there, it ain't no day promised to you, man. Tomorrow is not even promised to you. Even out here, tomorrow is not promised to you. So, you know, we're going to try to get him out and get his liberation, man. And I definitely will bring him to y'all live and in person, man. And let y'all witness what is my peace. You understand me? Good brother. Then y'all see how close I got his laugh, man. Because this laugh is crazy. And it comes out of nowhere. He just be talking. And then at the end of the sentence, he just busts out. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. But <clears throat> good dude. You want to catch him laughing. And you definitely don't want to catch him frowning and talking real low. Because... He going to mean everything that come out of his mouth and it's going to be vicious and it's going to be a, a declaration and he definitely going to fulfill it. And um, he ain't going to be yelling and screaming when he do it neither, you know. He might just simply tell you, brother, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut your head off. And uh, you can take that lightly if you want to, but I would not advise that, <laughs> you know. But anyway, man, shout out to my brother Mark Peace, man. Um, shout out to y'all TBP for rocking with me. Like I said, man, there's a blessing in every lesson, man. And the blessing is, man, that was one situation that, man, we, we, we was able to resolve without nobody losing their life, without nobody going to the hospital, without nobody getting hurt. You know, another brother hurting another brother, man. This is what the system will create. This is what will happen in there all day, every day, all over every prison over the world. This is what we're trying to prevent. This is why we spread this message because we want to keep these young people from putting themselves in these positions to be in prison to have to live this type of life. So um, that's the message, man. That's the movement. And we moving with it in 2023 and we coming harder, we coming stronger. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell somebody about us and come on over here and join this movement because we ain't going to stop till everybody understand. We ain't going to stop till prisons is shut down. Why would they shut down prisons? Because they ain't going to have nobody to go. We're going to stop volunteering to go to prison by making good decisions, being smart, being safe and making good decisions, man. They ain't got nobody to go in there, man. Then they, they ain't got no job. We're going to put them out of business, man. So y'all be safe out there. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. And uh, bum, 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 boom, boom, duck them hooks. And also duck messing around with somebody like Mark Peace because you may not be that lucky. Thank you, special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure deliciousness, man. <laughs> My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know. And uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.